What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Today, I'm going to be playing the Game of Thrones strategy game that was worse than the tactics used at the Battle of Winterfell. While that's installing, I'm going to talk about why the tactics used at the Battle of Winterfell were silly. And and th th they shouldn't they shouldn't have used them. And that's coming from me, one of the most incompetent strategy gamers ever. Also, Ram fan merch available on the Eagles Car store if interested. And to illustrate where they went wrong, I'm going to use the one program which I know how to actually kind of use. Paint. Yay! So, uh, let's go through through this. So, say this is uh, Winterfell. Let me just type it in. So, just 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 um, just in case you you weren't aware. So, this is Winterfell. Very accurately portrayed. I'm, I'm sure you're aware. Now, if I just change the colour to red, this one's going to be the little fire trench that they had going around the uh, going around the entirety of of, of this of the fortress. So, although the tactics used at the Battle of Winterfell were were bad, the actual production and scale uh, that we kind of see in that episode is absolutely outstanding for a TV program. You can kind of see the effort that would have gone into creating that episode. It's just, I think it's amazing. It's it's kind of cinema quality, but on the television. It certainly wouldn't have had the budget, I wouldn't have thought, as a movie the size of like Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, etc, etc. And compared to even HBO's Rome, which had a massive budget, but we never actually saw any major battles, to have, what, almost an hour and a half of kind of battle intense footage, that kind of stuff, in this. Obviously, it looks better than this is amazing. It's just a shame the tactics were naff. So here we'll have the the undead, because uh, I, I don't really want to sound like I'm in, I'm insulting the the show overall. Although the writing for season eight is kind of it's kind of a bit bad, but over the, the the quality of the team that they have making this is is, is truly like world class. Uh, the cast, that they're the acting is fantastic, the production is fantastic, the sound is amazing, the CGI for a TV series is incredible. It's just a shame that. Anyway, uh, then then we've got one of the flanks here, we've got the Unsullied here, and then we've got another flank of troops here. And not to forget the Dothraki that they had here. Oh, and one more thing, that the, the artillery line that they had th there. So what they did, they decided to send the, the Dothraki, the lightly armed Dothraki, straight at the, the undead horde. And I don't really know what they were planning on doing if they because that not many of them had any of the dragon glass. I think they were just using their normal Dothraki swords to to break through the line, and and that doesn't really kill undead. So until they had the flaming thing that that the uh, that the red woman and she went woo, I did like she went woo, I did some magic, and then they all had like flaming swords, uh, and then they charged forward, and then they all. Just perished, didn't they? Uh, then, then, then the then the undead comes like charging forward, way just on like holiday from Ibiza. They come down, charging down, uh, and and kind of bump into all of the lines. So once the Dothraki were defeated, they the the whole undead horde started charging towards uh, the the whole line. Now, what the defenders should have done really um, is not had the the artillery where they had them. It's just useless. They should have been behind the lines. If anything, they should have been kept in Winterfell so they could constantly fire and bombard the enemy. Uh, they should have had at least a line of defences, you know, going around the troops here as well, rather than just have this trench at the back. It, that, again, that just seems silly. Uh, they could have also laid, like, traps of the dragon glass, like, around here. Uh, I think that this video, <laughs> obviously, is not done as well at all as Invictors. So my strategy that I would have used would be similar to Invictors. I would have had probably like a, I would have dug lots of different traps uh, for the undead and then in, in like the traps that would have collapsed it would have just been uh, filled up with, with dragon glass and then like bang 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 they would have died. Uh, unfortunately that didn't happen. In fact so the defenders get forced back uh, and then they only have this like one little gate to go through. So every all of the defenders when they when they withdraw they have to go through here la di da di da di da di da And then they sacrifice pretty much, it seems like, the entire of the Unsullied. Yeah. 
So then the undead kind of surround the entirety of the city, uh, as illustrated here. Whee! So even though they're using the dragon fire to go like, whoosh, 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 it, it, it's, it's not enough. Uh, so then they come and start, like, going over the walls here, but the, the trench is lit up at this point. However, uh, the undead just kind of, like, flop onto it and create tons of different gaps, like bish, bash, bosh. And, and then the defenders are just pretty much overrun. It's only because uh, Aya, like, jumps on the Night King, like, over here, and then, then the Night King dies. Uh, and, and, then the, and then the defenders win. But really... Don't let Jon Snow command any more forces. Ever. Now, it was incredibly cinematic. It was thrilling to watch, although seeing the Dothraki charge was a bit like, eh. But the way it was done was, was great when you saw it from a distance where all the lights were going out. It was incredibly well shot. Uh, it was incredibly well directed. It's just a shame that the tactics they used were, were naff. They... they, 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 they they just didn't have any other defences except for this one pokey trench. And, and they didn't even use it to full effect. They had no men behind protecting it. To, it because once they tore themselves through the undead, that, then at least like it would have been a slow process. And then the defenders would have been still massed. That would have broken up this mass charge. Uh, and losses would have been less severe for the defenders. Anyway, I think the game's installed now. That's my two cents. And I'm not very good at video games. Strategy ones at that. And that's it for that section of the video. If you want to see more of my tactics explained or, or how to be improved using Microsoft Paint, let me know in the comments below and, and leave a like and, and subscribe for that kind of content. But the main focus of today's video is a Game of Thrones Genesis. I believe this was the strategy game that was released in 2011. It wasn't very good. I haven't played it before, so we're just going to go for a little run through today and just see how bad it actually is. Because on Steam, I believe it's a mostly negative. I thought it would be prudent to show you the tutorial so you get to see just how badly I do during a game tutorial. Wow. Let's create alliances. Here we go. Welcome to the Diplomacy Tutorial. Thank you. Hey look. It's a Targaryen. Right. So I need to create an envoy. The envoy does not fight and may only carry out diplomatic actions with the aim of gaining alliances with towns, castles, sets, ruins and gold mines. Give me my... Oh, we've got him. Okay. I need to move him. Wow. Yes. Point and click. Off you pop. This looks great. Almost as good as my paint. Send your envoy to the town located northeast. Okay. A future ally. Yes. Come on into the realm. I will command you. Oh look. Oh, it's it was. They were allied to House Lannister, but now they're going to be over to me, the Targaryens. Yes. Conquer them through diplomacy. Oh. Oi. Oi. You. Get out of here. That's right. Ha! Oh, I, I can't move the great lord. I'm listening. Are you? Well, move. Mo Frickin' move! Ah. Oh. So, this little blue bar down here, that gives me a secret agreement with the town, and I receive half of the usual income, but my enemy will receive nothing. Oh. Oh, yes. Ah. So, I'm going to hire a noble lady. And then I can marry a great lord. Mm -hmm. Good. I've always wanted to get married to a great lord. Alright, where are yes. you? You will be sacrificed for the good of the realm. My marriage will provide you with a solid alliance. Oh, talk dirty to me again. My marriage will provide you with a solid alliance. Oh, yeah. My marriage will provide you with a oh. solid alliance. Wait, I need to kill the noble lady in the southern town, but I thought that I controlled this town. Oh, the, oh, it's changed back. Oh, the tutorial's changed it back. Oh. Okay, then. Right, kill the Lannister woman. Wait, she's the person that I just married up? She betrayed me. And now you will die. At your command. Hold the phone. I get to seduce someone. Uh. He will be unable to resist me. Yeah. Go on. 
Use your feminine wiles. Oh, yes. Seduce him. Seduce him, please. Yes? Yes. I'm coming home. Oh, I bet you are. Uh, yeah, someone... Someone decided to rise up, so I'm I'm killing them. Uh, yep, and then and then we just go and take the town. That's how diplomacy works. Finally, finally, I can use force. See, you don't need all these underhand tactics. Just get a big army and kill the other army. Oh, here we go. We've got a proper army now. Yes, look, my archers are going to ambush these fellas. Look, tactics. We're using tactics. I am freaking listening. What is it you want? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they. Oh, oh yes. And then we mow them down. Aha! They would. They. They don't know what's what's getting what's going up them. It appears I have the Ramsey Snow tactic of just firing into my own men. I'm okay with that. Right. Well. After that tutorial, I think I'm ready for the campaign. Some 700 years before the forging of the Iron Throne, the last major migration known to Westeros was that of the Rhoynar. They had fled the expansion of Valyria, and at their head was the warrior queen Nymeria. Having travelled for many years, and after several aborted attempts to settle on other lands, they came- Wait, is this just going to go over the tutorial that I've just done the- No. Send your envoy to the towns and castle in order to establish an alliance with them. Yes, yes I know. I've I've done this. Future... I don't think it can go quicker. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Can I just sail? Can I just sail back? Let's just sail back to where we came from. Or can I at least look at the other parts of the map? Oh. Just Dawn. I hope they haven't butchered this like they butchered the Dawn storyline in the TV show. I can't move Nymeria. Come on, Nymeria. It, oh, I, I wasted half an hour playing the tutorial when it's telling me just how to do it. Here. <laughs> Ready. Oh, oh, so it allowed me to recruit a, a second child. envoy to speed up this process. Thank the, the, the gods, old and new. Okay, I'm doing incredible micro skills with my five envoys now. There are enemy envoys in play, but I will fend them off. And together we will we have victory. Yes. As soon as possible. Very well. I'm on my way. None. I'm no. My way. Look, look, look how well. quickly I'm clicking. As you wish. My, my micro skills is, is insane. Understood. I'm on my way. Wow. Understood. I'm coming. Bow before wish. me. I'm on my way. And my, my massive clicking skills. Wish. I want this game to end. I shall make them change their minds. You won't change my mind. Uh, <laughs> um. Maybe this isn't the kind of strategy game that I should I be playing. It's, it, 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 it's, it's just, I'm just finding it quite boring. I'm going to try one more game mode. Right, well, here we go. We have our great lord, and I'm playing as House Stark. So I guess I'll begin by getting control of various things. But as you can see, there are, they've got the whole map of Westeros. Uh, it, it's actually... Quite interesting here, because you've got House Targaryen. You've got, you got all the major houses, basically. House Tully, House Arryn in the in the Vale. Uh, then you've got the Lannisters, uh, the, the, the Tyrells. And there's House Baratheon down here, too. Yeah. So you can play a game on the entirety of Westeros. And that I'm finding At with the game command. is that I, I, it's very boring. A future ally. Uh, I imagine as the North, I can probably hold on and just... Stick, stick to here. I think it's probably Moat Kaelin. It doesn't even have any. It doesn't have the names of the places. Oh, Hayfield, Hayfield, ruin, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> old Moat. They're liberals. Cold grass. They, they haven't even got the actual net. I was honestly hoping the game would be more entertaining than this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll still be able to make a fun video. But there is no way that I'm going to make it through an entire game of this. I, I I, think I preferred watching the Battle of Winterfell to playing this strategy game. Unfortunately. So I think I'd probably only give this a, a 3, maybe a 4 out of 10. It's just not fun. Good. And hopefully y'all will listen to me and say this. I wouldn't recommend picking this up if you're up for it. If you're trying to find a Game of Thrones strategy game... Play one of the mods. Uh, the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2, I would highly recommend. 
but I would not recommend this. So that's me giving you the old Rambler recommendation. So I think I'm going to sign off from me and my great lord in Winterfell. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is a bit of an odd video, but if you want to see more of that style of stuff at the start, or more terrible strategy games, let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this experience, leave a like, subscribe. We're 10,000 away from 300,000, which is freaking amazing. So thank you all for your support. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Wyatt, Onion Duck, Salty Dog, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Andrew, Jiggly Crotch, Brock Obama, Martin, Sean, and Logan for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!